Matthew Stuckey here from Verity Baptist Church Manila and Verity Baptist Church Pampanga with a, a quick missionary update video. And uh, the past week we had a total of 41 salvations, and so it's pretty good. Um, we're, still, we'll, we're still kind of in the rainy season. It, August is the peak of it. We're kind of on the downward trend, but this past week we did have a lot of rain. We kind of have had the last couple days here also as well. And so um, outside of that, things are definitely getting a lot uh, less strict. Um, you know, throughout the media and the news stations and everything, they've talked about how um, the curve has been flattened. It's on the downward trend. They're going to be having school opening in October for uh, college, I believe. And so that will uh, remove the restrictions of those under the age of 21 not being able to be in public. I'm, I'm assuming that will remove the restrictions for people that are younger as well. It certainly looks like we're trending that way. We're not sure of the exact time. Even where I live, um, the gym had been closed for like five months, and they just opened it up a week and a half ago. So everything's getting a little bit less strict, which is good. Um, you know, eventually we'll be able to start going soul winning in parks again. We hope. Uh, we hope that we'll we'll come here in the next couple months. Um, you know, sooner rather than later would be great. Obviously, you know, we've been able to go soul winning door to door for a while and, and still get people saved. Not as many people save as, as in parks, but, um, you know, we do get a lot of visitors from door-to-door -door soul winning. So, um, obviously, you know, you're rewarded for the work you do, even though it's been a little bit more difficult during this time period. So just continue to pray for us in that regard. Um, things are going great in Pampanga. Things were um, pretty uh, confusing, pretty magulo, a little bit disorganized for a while because of restrictions and everything like that. But uh, the last two weeks, we've had a total of 16 salvations in Pampanga, which is great. We've been able to have a big group out soul winning the last couple weeks, you know, double digit amount of soul winners for two straight weeks in Pampanga. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're holding services on Saturday instead of Sunday. And one change we made, we actually, instead of meeting in a home, which we've been doing since the beginning, since the church started in November of uh, 2019, we're actually now meeting in a building, um, kind of weekly rental is the plan, rather than being in a long-term lease. And so we're kind of making plans for the future. But uh, we, we just met there on Saturday for the first time to check it out. One of the, our church members found the location. And, you know, it's for us, it's a, it's, a, it's a great price. It's a great deal. We're able to stay in fellowship and have lunch together before you go out soul winning. And it, it's, a, it's a pretty massive area. So by all means, it, it won't be a problem at all to, um, you know, bring visitors and everything, you know, if we have a big attendance or whatever. Plenty of room. It's great. It's really a perfect setup for us. So we're really excited about that. It's nice to get into a kind of a finalized location. And unfortunately, due to everything happening, it was, it was just kind of disorganized for a little while. And, you know, we were just doing the best we could. We had Zoom meetings and things like that. But things are back to normal there, so that's great. So by all means, if you're, um, you know, in the Pampanga area, or even in Tarlock or maybe even Bulacan, depending on where you're located, you know, let us know. We'd love to have you stop by for service on Saturday sometime and join in fellowship and soul winning and everything. And so anyways, this past week, we we're continuing through Revelation. I finished Revelation 18b, The Judgment of Babylon. And, um, you know, we got uh, four more chapters in Revelation. There's still a lot of sermons, but we're getting kind of towards the end of that. We're going to go to Hosea after Revelation which is more of a character building um, book, which will be really good for us. And then on Sundays, um, you know, the first sermon I preached, we concluded the whole body cast into hell. I talked about um, if thy church member offend thee or kick out the church member, basically how one church member can destroy an entire church body. And I kind of really highlighted the necessity of church discipline when someone kind of goes south or backslides because it will destroy the entire church. You look at the church of Corinth, it's not just one major sin, but they're taking brothers to court. There's strife, there's divisions, there's cliques. I mean, there's all kinds of problems. They're taking the Lord's Supper the wrong way. They're not waiting for one another um, in order to have the Lord's Supper together inside the church. They're, I mean, it, there's just so many problems in the book of uh, book of first corinthians and the church of corinth and it all kind of stems from the fact that one person was living a wicked life and everything so church discipline is necessary sometimes and i talked about how we should do it with patience the bible gives us that principle but it is something that from time to time is going to be necessary and you don't have to worry about getting kicked out unless you do something really bad but from time to time it does you know it is necessary even if it's a safe person sometimes it's necessary so that's a sermon we decided not to put on youtube um, i preached at the local church and obviously some watched via facebook and our church members and everything but we elected not to put that on youtube we decided to keep it as a local uh, church only sermon 
And then the second sermon I preached was just through Romans 5, verse by verse, as we're going through Romans. And so next week we'll be in uh, Romans chapter 6 and everything like that. And I've got a standalone sermon this Sunday that I'm, I'm preaching. And I, I've been excited about this for a while. And it's going to be uh, the God of Hinduism versus the God of the Bible. And uh, it's actually going to be practical. There's a lot of uh, practical information just in general about our beliefs and things like that that's actually going to be learned in that. And I, I've watched so many documentaries on India and Hinduism, and I listened to countless hours of swamis and gurus talking about Hinduism. And I was trying to really get to the root root of, you know, what is the appeal of Hinduism? Because it seems like such a strange religion on the outset, which I believe it is. But um, I do understand what the appeal of Hinduism is. So I encourage you to uh, come, to check out our live stream Sunday morning. It's um, 10 a.m., Manila time, which is uh, you know essentially 10 p.m. I believe uh, Thursday or Saturday night um, Eastern Coast, you know uh, Eastern Standard Time in the U.S. But uh, check out that sermon. I think it's going to be really interesting. Uh, a lot of information to be learned, not just about Hinduism, but just in general about what we believe. So, anyways, things are going well. Just continue to pray for us, and thank you, and God bless.